Charleston White. Charleston White. <laughs> At this point, we just talking because we got a set of lips, but like I told you, I'm here. You heard it's been a minute since we made a video. Give me a second. Let me come up up out of this uh zebra suit. No, <laughs> zebra suit, you heard? <laughs> Facts. You know, in life, you got to learn how to... I'm like Eminem this situation. I'll tell you about myself before you try to say something about me, you heard? So check this out. We got a few things we're going to get into right here. One of the things that I saw the other day, we're going to move on. And nobody's going to say nothing. I guess they're waiting for me to do it, right? This dude, and I'm not, listen, at this point, we not the cloud chasers. The current that changes direction, you heard facts. Always remember that. So, how do people come online and be like, fuck your set. Fuck your blood, you slob. You fucking crab. Fuck y'all queen niggas, y'all burgers. And like this in a whole set of people, mind you, this is not gang... Uh, enforcement uh, and meaning like like I'm not enf enf enforcing gangs on nobody. That's what I mean, like putting gangs on you, not gang enforcement as in popo enforcement. <laughs> you heard? But uh, what I'm saying is that he probably a good dude, but he's making a lot of wrong decisions. I don't know who's his whatever publicist, whatever, he probably don't have none. And I don't care what activist he was years ago or what he did for the community and all, all that shit goes out the window because right now it's a tragedy bound to happen and everybody's laughing like, oh, that's funny, yo, the OG dissed him. But somewhere in the world, there's somebody that don't find that funny. There's somebody... That finds that, like, you this in my whole set? Like, fuck all you bloods. Fuck your set. Why bloods fuck with Crips? When I was growing up gang banging, they would fight. They not friends. There we go. Our own people dividing our own people. But when I say, you know, we wrong. You feel me? Like, nah, bro. The black and Latino community is doing a hell of a great job destroying themselves right here online. For what? For views? What's going on with you, bro? Inside of you that you got... A, all right, a man says something to him. I was watching a video, supposedly Bosco says something, whatever. Cool, that's not my business. I'm not blood. But what I am is a human being. And being in gangs for a lot of years of my life, being in court, understanding the mind, the thought of a person that's watching this so-called... It's not content because people get it confused with content and videos. Some people make videos. Some people make content. We make content on this side. But lately, we've been trying to make content that matters, right? So when I say that, I say all that to say this. Charleston White, again, he goes and he's saying, fuck your gang. Fuck all you bloods. My dude, I know blood dudes that are watch. And don't be online and don't say nothing. But when they see you, they'll put them lips in the back of your head on God. Because they don't understand. You're not going to be able to say, yo, my bad, bro. I was just trolling. They don't understand trolling. They don't want to understand trolling. They don't want to know how to spell trolling. They don't want nothing to do with trolling. You dissing something that the next man grew up on as a child. Eats, breathe, and shits this still in his everyday life and has hopes, dreams, and big expectations for his set. <laughs> and here you go saying, fuck your whole gang. You can't put a whole group of people into what one or two, even a handful of people might have done to you. I always say that. So when I'm listening to this, I'm like, this is a tragedy about to happen. And our online community is just looking at it, laughing at it, <laughs> and cheering it on. <laughs> uh, to boom, somebody crashes. Now it's not funny no more. It's like, holy shit. Yo, they foul. Yo, they fucked up, son. Why they do Charleston like that? <laughs> but nobody stops to think for one second that Charleston was getting loose. That Charleston found a way for people 
to pay attention to him and his work that he's been doing previously that nobody paid mind to, but he's getting more attention now this way. He's getting more traction this way. He's trying to master and has mastered in his own sense the word and the movements of trolling. Never mastering or understanding that with trolling has came a lot of tragedies and a lot of deaths online. Oftentimes we go on and we don't want to think about the pain. We don't want to think about the bad things that have happened with what we're doing. Because what we're doing seems to be working for the moment. But I don't want to live my life in the moment and that's it. I want longevity in whatever I'm doing. So with that being said, I find that wrong. I think that somebody needs to pull him up. I'm giving my opinion because I'm an online dude. Like officially, officially, nothing to show off or glorify. As a matter of fact, it is, son. But we don't show off. We show up, right? But... If you got a platform, I always figured out, like, use it for something that of value that's going to show something to the people that's going to better our people, right? Not all the time we could be dishing out this little down low undercover negativity, right? And um, um, these are black brothers, you know, and they could have been white brothers. They could have been. One of the things that stood out to me was that he was like, uh, holy snap. <laughs> Look, he's getting beat up. Boy, you let them beat you up like that? It's a Bosco, uh, 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 you know Bosco, the dude that does the Instagram thing. Bosco 100 or something like that, yeah. Uh, he was off Queens flipping all these shows, so. Uh, I didn't find that funny, the next man getting beat up like that. Because the same way he's getting beat up like that, jumped and recorded, <laughs> is what people want to do to Charleston White. And he was like, boy, I hope they never catch me <laughs> lagging like that, boy. Beat my black ass. Like, but that's exactly what's going to happen, player. You just saw what's going to happen to you in that video. And not by me. And I'm not promoting that. And I'm not saying that anybody should go out and do this to this man. By all means, that's not what we do here. I'm just saying that before that happens... I'm hoping that he sees this video one day and sees it in a good sense. Don't see it as somebody that's cloud chasing. See it as somebody who's genuinely trying to reach out and say, my brother, you need to chill. And if that's what's working for you, bro, listen, that's the wrong type of, 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 because there's no rebuttal. Uh, if I'm using the right word, there's no, oh, yo, my bad. I got a little out of character. Uh, maybe I should have not named all the blood. Maybe I should have not said, fuck your whole set. Because it's getting crazy now, right? It's, it should have been like, it's just a you thing. Because now when dudes show up with 15, 30 dudes, dudes be like, yo, but the beef was with him. I was talking to him. Like, nah, nah, nah. You mentioned everybody in general. You said, fuck your set. Fuck what you believe in. Fuck bloods. And then y'all beating up each other. But the white boy, y'all ain't doing nothing to the white boy, to the white man. Check this out. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing to put in the air to our black and brown brothers and sisters that are watching. The majority of the people watching. Right? So check this out. Statistically known, those are the most people that watch us because I follow up on analytics and all that. I'm kind of bright. I'm a smart street dude. I learned something. Took it and ran with it. And try to show it to the world. Some want a nerd. Some don't. Some want you to bring it right to them. Do everything for them. It don't work like that, bro. So anyway, with that being said, I had to throw that in there. Boop, boop, boop. Now check this out. When you say you won't do that to the white man, that starts stirring. That makes another dude think like, word, we shouldn't be doing that to each other. We should be doing that to the white dude. If anybody, you shouldn't be doing that to no one. You got to you watch the your, your choice of words on here. Because some people are listening. Right? Some people hear you. Some people are listening. And some people are just there. <laughs> Facts. I'm listening. I hear you. But I'm playing the whole tape in my head. And I look deep into what a person says. And I understand the power of word. This is what dudes don't understand. I understand the power of influence. And of two. We come to terms with that. That that shit is real. <laughs> That literally when you said, I don't see nobody doing that to these little white boys, they'll get away with that all day. There's another black or Spanish brother that went out there that night and slapped Thundercats out of some white little dude. He said, yo, come here. Bah, who said I won't do that to I'll do that to anybody. Facts. These are the things that can happen 
of the power of word online if you're not aware of what you're saying. Because the people that follow you, they love you like they love Pac. Not making a comparison to none of us with Tupac, because we know how people feel about Tupac. He, you know, he wasn't one of my top five. He don't have to be. But I know how people felt about him and all respects to Tupac. You know what I'm saying? You know, he wasn't my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? My favorite rapper was Big Pun. We don't have to have the same favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? Or the same top five. We're not the same. We're different. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. <laughs>